Hi, I'm Ming Sheng and this is Group 3 CDR Report. The purpose of the plane is to achieve level and stable powered flight so as to conduct surveillance over beachheads and he is able to be controlled via a remote by a ground operator. For our previous design, it has a bolt on its front and open up section. Overall, it has a more rounded fuselage. However, for our final design, our fuselage is more square as round fuselage poses challenge for fabrication and space for components. For SMPC understructure, we have landing gear to minimize impact when plane lands, fuselage to be completely sealed with super glue so it isn't exposed to the environment, and the usage of lightweight material and high aspect ratio weight. Under motion, we have our flight control surfaces centered and our fuselage streamlined, which results in more efficient flight. We plan to make our plane more he nose heavy and place our components in the middle of the fuselage to balance the CG of the plane. For the finalized design solutions under power, we will be using a motor provided by the school to provide to power the flight, and the motor is connected to the propeller. The specifications of the motor is that it has 10.5 volts, 10 amperes, and produces a total power of 129 watts. Under control, connections of flight control surfaces to the main part through the use of string. Secondly, usage of aluminium rods to connect flight control surfaces to the servos. Lastly, receiver connection to the servo so that we can remotely control our flight surfaces. In this technical drawing, you can see that the plane we designed looks very similar to the MQ-9. Its polling length is 60 cm, wing length 80 cm, and fuselage width is 7 cm. It has a wing width of 10 cm and an elevator height of 12 cm. For the flight control surfaces, we will be attaching them with strings. This is to ensure that when there is movement input from the servos, these flight controls will move uniformly and quickly. For our landing gear, we will be using a flexible aluminium rod to absorb the impact upon landing and we will also be using a plastic toy wheel for its lightweight property. For the MQ-9 Reaper design, uh, as it requires a radar and a bigger engine, there will be two barrels at the top of the fuselage. However, for our final design, we will not require a radar or an engine, thus we will remove these bulges and the nose of the plane will be sharper so that it will be more aerodynamically shaped. All three servos will be used to control our aircraft and balsa wood and plywood will be used as the fundamental materials for our glider uh, with aluminum rods for connecting the servos to control surfaces and landing surfaces. Uh, we are planning to retrieve the aluminum rods and some plastic wheels to make our landing gear. So our choice of components are Aero RC Moto, 10.5 uh, volts, 10 amperes, and 129 volts. Tower Pro SG90 Micro Servos. Next, we have our Fly Sky 6 Channel Digital Receiver System, which is 2.4 gigahertz, and plastic pieces for connection. So our materials and fabrication method used. We will most likely use balsa wood as our main material for the whole plane. Uh, we will definitely get strings to connect our flight control surfaces. Uh, our main method of fabrication is use the use of super glue and glue sanding. That's the end of our video. Please.